Hey everybody, welcome back to Batty Bloomers. I'm in the greenhouse today and I thought I'd show you what I'm doing in here. Um, got a lot going on in here. It's getting messy again because I'm starting to use it. You can see all my pots there. Um, I've brought some things out from down in the basement under my grow lights and this guy is not happy. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's completely wilting and it keeps getting worse when I first checked it was just these that were wilted and now these are wilted and the rest except for their color they should be dark green like this and they're very light green and I think I have something that I can put in the soil to help fix that I think they need iron or I'm over watering them <laughs> I'm not sure which um, and then I, so those are lupins and they're called Sunrise. Um, I have some sweet peas here. These were from last year. I found them outside and they live. They're snapdragons. These are uh, forget-me-nots. Chinese forget-me-nots. And so are all these here. This one has a bud on it, ready to bloom. This was some lavender that I transplanted last year. or so, Maybe I planted it from seed and I found it outside. And I thought, well, I'll bring it in here. Planted some lettuce in here. Uh, this is a snapdragon, and then the rest of this is trailing lobelia. This is uh, lupitunia uh, petunia. I have more in the basement, but they're just teeny. And they can take chili if you are careful. So I thought, let's try them in here. It's protected from wind and from um, frost. Then over here I have English daisies that I brought out. Um, they're kind of they're struggling a little. I'm a little bit tough on my plants. When you harden off plants, um, you bring them from inside and you set them in a protected place that's warmish, maybe sunny, um, for a couple hours each day. And, and ev actually every day you up, up the amount of time that they're outside about two hours. So you bring them out the first day for three hours, the next day for five, day, for five hours, and so on. But I, that's too much, I, I don't, nope, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't have the time for that. And I'll probably forget anyway. So I figured if I'm in the greenhouse and they're, they're, the frost can't get them, it's warm during the day, but it does cool down at night. These are pansies or violas, and then this is Johnny Jump Ups, and they're getting ready to bloom. Look at this. There's a little bud. Oh, there's one coming. Look at that. I want to plant these out, but this week is going to be down, last night it was 32, and a couple nights this week it says it's going to be down to 23, and of course today is the first day of spring. <laughs> We've had such nice weather, and now we're going to get the cold weather, but that's okay. But I'm, I'm just a little concerned, especially for the lupins, uh, for the next couple of nights, and so what I've brought in is some bubble wrap the real big the real big stuff um, and I thought I would just wrap these plants um, for the next couple nights and I don't know what's killing this one I wish I knew what was wrong with it huh maybe it just doesn't like it out here it's mad that I brought it out um, so yeah, I might try to protect some of this stuff. This, the lavender I won't, because that's already been out in the cold. Lettuce can handle some cold, and it's not even up yet, so that's not a big deal. It's more, it's more this stuff here that I'm worried about. Not even this stuff so much. I might protect it anyway, just because. Um, and then I also, the other day, planted up all my dahlias. They were in this crate in dirt, um, layered. I tried to, I tried to um, label them, and they were in the cottage there, like in this corner. Uh, the heat is down at that end, so it is heated, but we keep it really low because we're not in there all the time. So we only turn up the heat when we're in there. So it's like 50 degrees in there, and it was in the coldest corner that I could find and covered. They're supposed to be covered. You're supposed to like check them and spritz them, and I didn't do that, and so I did have some that were a little shriveled. But I think they're all okay. Um, this one had new growth on it. 
but that could die back because of the weather, the cold nights. And then I have this one that had some growth on it here. And that too could die back because of the weather. I'm not concerned so much about that. I think they won't freeze because we're not, we always get above freezing during the day. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. And then the other thing I have in here are these little bulbs that I planted forever ago. And it's called Pushkinia Labonautica or something. It's I've never even heard of it, but they're little bluish looking flowers. They look like they're related to the hyacinth. But I tell you what, I've never seen bulbs as slow as these. They're so slow. I keep waiting to see something happen with them. That one there is the biggest on this one. And it's tiny, like it's not even, it's like the size of my fingernail. So they're super tiny. And then I have another, another set of them over here. And that's the biggest one on this one. And I just, I don't know, they're just taking forever. I had them inside for the longest time and they just didn't seem to be happy in there. And so I thought, well, I'll bring them out to the greenhouse. Maybe they'll be happier out here. So, so that's what's happening in the greenhouse. And I hope you have a nice day, and I hope you stay tuned for whatever's next. I don't even know yet. So, thanks for watching. I thought I'd show you real quick what I did with this uh, bubble wrap. I just made like a little house, like a little greenhouse or a tent. And the plants are in there. And it's not airtight or perfect, but it will just give them an added layer of protection. Um, the, the air bubbles provide a layer. And I did it to these over here too. Um, I'm not as worried about these, but because there's buds, you know, I just don't know if it, I'm hoping it won't get to 23, and I don't think. I don't think it'll hurt them. I think last year I had things out here when it got that low. And actually, I should go back through my videos and see what uh, what I did and how things survived. Um, but these especially, I only brought these up the other day. And I really don't want them to be killed. So I think I have to prop this up a little more. I see these are falling down on the plants. Um, and prop this up a little bit better. Maybe like that is better. Sorry, not watching what I'm doing. Um, and then this bag that I thought was full of bubble, bubble wrap. I don't even know where I got it. But it's got like trash bags and like paper got a bunch of junk in it. I guess I gotta go through it. Because I didn't realize I've been saving a bag of junk. I just really only want the bubble wrap. So I'll do that next. Anyway, thanks for watching.